Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we were exploring Grape House. Now, unfortunately, we went into Grape Tower and the game kind of progressed a little bit, so I haven't been able to explore Grape House at all. However, the other students have, so we're gonna listen to what they've found. No then! Let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found! Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then! Is it fine if Gundam, Fuhiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right! Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> hmm. Rejoice, mongrels! I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Okay, let's go Gundam first. <laughs> 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 now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you this. I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot, Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey! C could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Kneel! Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice, of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. It's a very small motor. So one would assume it's for a very small boat. Also, his hamster is taking a nap, and that is adorable. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that... Ah! That's just a radio-controlled toy! The hamsters can ride on it. The hamsters can get to freedom. Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I I'm not asking about that! You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Loser! Teehee! <laughs> you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about the ship being real! Stupid! Idiot! Moron! The boy is shook. <laughs> Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Hmm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But... Our situation is getting, is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Okay, uh, next up was Nagito. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me? Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good at all. Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard! Just hurry up and say it already! Um... Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. Okay, well, there's his button. There's his little gavel. I can't tell what the other two are, though. Hmm. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. 
It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Actually. Ah, oh, also I found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. What? A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? Hey! I, d I don't... I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but I am confused and concerned. Hey, don't just hide. Come on out. <laughs> oh, Usami. Hello. I love you. You and Sakura. My favorites. Hello. So the lost child was you. Right? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you would all react. <laughs> it's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> how sad. It's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Um... Um, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No! I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here, because she's going to eat her. <laughs> Akane's thinking rabbit, mmm, tasty. Hmm? I'll accept that. <sighs> hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? I is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No! I'm expected to be food? No, no, you're not, darling. You're absolutely not. Hello. <laughs> It's getting to us. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry House. Hmm. <laughs> but instead of being covered with strawberry pans, they're covered with grape pans. Also. Also, like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge, too. And that same picture of, uh, Kamakura. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lounge... There's a strawberry button on the phone in Grape House's lounge. Now then. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but... It's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So, the picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? I... I can guess what she's going to say. I get the feeling she's thinking too simplistically. Let me ask. The structure of the fun house? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently and the strawberry tower we were in earlier. I think they're actually the same building. I agree with that. <laughs> The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. 
Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? Um... But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? And so, if we think about it and put those two together... Hmm... The two towers are the same building and each house connects to the center. I agree with this, but again, I think she's thinking too simplistically. Monokuma said the elevator didn't just travel up and down. It could go left to right. So what's to say that it traveled straight across? Who's to say it didn't go on a diagonal? If it can go left to right and up and down, and theoretically, if it's traveling along a, um, a track, the track could be diagonal. I think if you were to look at this, oh god, brain, brain, not looking like top down, but looking from the side, I reckon Strawberry House, or here's a, it could be either. You know, I'm, I'm gonna put a picture up. Here's how I think we're looking at this. I think that one house is on the ground floor, one house is on the other floor, and the, the thing went diagonal. I hope I'm making sense here. I think just having it be, oh yeah, it went straight across, that's way too easy. That's a very simplistic way of looking at it. I think that the door, the reason why it couldn't be opened, it, I think it's a bricked up door. <laughs> I don't think it's a real door. That's why no matter how much Nekomaru pulled at it, it couldn't be opened. I think, I think Chianki's on the right line here, but I think she's thinking about this in a very simplistic way. The two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and the telephone? I, again, I, by your logic, if I put a picture of the Eiffel Tower on, on my door in this room, when I open it, it, it must lead to Paris, right? Because there's a picture of the Eiffel Tower on it, no. Just because there's an image on a door doesn't mean jack shit. I don't think that's a real door. Then, in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? You're leaping to conclusions. It, it's an obvious leap. It's an extremely obvious leap. Which is why I'm like, hmm... It's too obvious. And considering this chapter was... Or not this chapter, but this section was prefaced by saying that, like, oh, his traps are so much crueler than we could ever imagine. He's so much sneakier than we thought. Like, it, it really hammered home, like, it, things weren't what they seemed. Things weren't what they seemed. Things didn't go as we thought they would go. So just saying, like, oh, yeah, all that sneakiness, sneakiness abounds. But, yeah, the doors lead where the picture's on them. Sh like, like, that's so... It, it's so obvious that it's too obvious. I hope I'm making sense here. Wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Um... As well as the opposite. The grape door that was at the Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning we opened the Grape Hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower... Changes to either... I... I hate the fact that I'm having to say Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower and Strawberry House and Grape House so often. It's throwing me off. Changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps... 
Which means when you look at the other side of the Great Hall door that we used to come in here. Yep. Yep, the great pictures should actually be on here. Hey. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side. Hmm. Hmm, that might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Hmm. Well, Hajime and Nakumaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? Oh! What's wrong with that? Well? When you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? So, just as I assumed. How do you know that? Um... When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly... The Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um... But why? Perhaps... The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors opened at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Hmm. Then, the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know. Yeah, but the lights are coming from things on the floor. There's no way they're the same building. I get different levels. Different levels, chicken. You don't know? You didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait! Then how about that picture on the floor? Is that different too? Um... Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see! Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? But... But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um... For example, we should leave something behind here and we'll go to Strawberry Tower. Right? And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on! No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. Fool! <sighs> Why can't you notice them? Hey, hey! I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that the sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Hmm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd at least be something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Mm. It's quite high performance. It seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Uh, well, we have someone who doesn't have a heartbeat or breathing patterns. I'm just saying. I get it then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Uh, no, we have a robot man. Hey, hey! 
What about Nekamaru? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. Okay, so he can't stay behind. I take that back. But... But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Sheesh! Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Shushin! Do you need me to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice! <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Hmm. And once I enter sleep mode... I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. You excellent fool! It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll move over to Strawberry Tower. And if, by chance, the handbook is still here, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right. Let's try this. We left behind Chiaki's e-handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Hmm... Okay... I mean, where's the, where's the, there's the elevator. Here's the thing, there are, depending on how this goes. I see, I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the Toad's Wart. Oh, wait, never mind. Hey, hey. A toad's Wart? What's she talking about? Hmm. It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. If it was moving slowly, then you wouldn't be able to tell that you were moving diagonally. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. Uh. If two towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. All right, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. Okay. Let's see. If you press the button next to this door, you should be able to enter Strawberry Tower. Hey, hey. Then I'll press it. Stay back. Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? In the Sally of Evil. In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Okay. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Pierce through, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy! <laughs> the hamster opened the thing. I love the hamster so fucking much. Choo, choo. It did a click. Ah, it, it pressed the button? <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open. Wow! Wow, amazing! Your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have appeared. I see your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing! Amazing! Truly amazing! You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Here. Th thank you. Oh, I ship them so much. Huh? Fuck you, you simp. <laughs> you ain't getting none of that, dude. You ain't getting none of that. You ain't got a shot. Look at how cool Gundam is. He has hamsters. You don't have jack shit. Pfft, you you didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. Hmm. 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 Just as I thought. It's taking a while to open. Hmm. Considering what we discussed earlier. The sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. 
I mean, how long would that... If it's a high-performance sensor, you would assume that wouldn't take too long. And the... I mean, how long does it take a, a pair of sliding doors to close? Not, not all that long. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. My! Ah, oh, look over there! The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonia raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing... It's there, the handbook! Hmm... Yep. Yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. Huh? If the handbook Chiaki left in Great Tower is here, then that means... <laughs> It seems we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. I, again, that is very simple. I propose another very simple solution. This is a building with an elevator. Who's to say it doesn't have multiple? I think it's just one big elevator. The floor is going up and down. I still... I don't believe that the, I, I wish you could see my mouse. I wish you could see my mouse because I'm going a bit crazy here waving it all over the place to, to show my thinking. It's such a simple solution. It's such a staggeringly simple solution. I can't believe it. I don't trust it for a minute because it is it's too obvious it's too simple the characters are pointing it out i'm like the game never does that the game like they'll do it during the trial because that's the time to explain everything but the characters never get the immediate answer they might like get halfway there but they never get the immediate well these ones don't one did in in the other game, the, the one who shall not be named, the queen of all bitches, she would get things immediately, but these characters, they don't. So the fact that they're, you know, very proudly going, oh yeah, they're on the same level and this is how it connects, I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> if, if that's what you've gotten, then that clearly can't be it. I think they're on different levels and it's just that the floor in the tower is moving up and down. I think it's an elevator. I hope I'm making sense there. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? Then that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape House's Grape Hall. This is troubling. But it also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> the fact, again, that, oh, there's no way we'd find the exit that easily, yet apparently we've solved the mystery of the house like that i their thinking is too simple their thinking is too simple my my gut we got a diagonal elevator going between the buildings and the tower is an elevator in itself it's just a very simple up and down elevator it could be something even more complex than that i don't know but my my gut instinct is that we're dealing with buildings on two separate levels they're not on the same level well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like that. Even the game is saying this is suspicious. Even the game is saying maybe you should be second guessing this because they got it too quick. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally all you do is stare into space, but at times like this you really pull through for us. Hmm. However... However, why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil! There's probably no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Hmm. Um, who are you again? That's... I'm Monami! Why did you forget about me? 
That reminds me, whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Shushing! According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my! Huh? Is it that time already? Damn it! Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma appears! It's to disorientate you. We're getting rid of the concept of time. Slowly, how you process time will... It will... It will completely... It'll go to pot. You will no longer be able to tell how many hours or days or weeks have passed since you entered this building. It's a disorientation tactic. Allow me to answer! Every single day, up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life! You guys... Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Hello... Oh well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but... <laughs> Here, what are you trying to say? Hmm... For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside, and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um... Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. <laughs> and it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Hmm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Um... Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm... Hmm, why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes. Yes, let us do that. Man... That's a bummer, but... well, I guess it makes sense. This, too, must be the will of causality. Then, ladies first. Now then, let us begin! Kittens? I... Now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Um... Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at a red room is just going to strain my eyes. Oh! Then the men shall have Strawberry House! Strawberry men are known for passion! Hey. Also, each house has guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right! Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to set aside those next, huh? But there are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. <sighs> then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Ask the ladies which guy they'd be most comfortable sp spending their time with. Appropriate way? <sighs> or asking the ladies who they would feel most comfortable with. Rock, paper, scissors, of course! Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun. Whoever comes out on top, the ladies are not going to be impressed. I'm, I'm serious, the ladies are stood off to the side being like, this is pathetic. And the results... Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. Of, of course he would, lucky bastard. That's right. I totally forgot that Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided. You two will get a deluxe room. 
Now then, regarding the third one- Oh, wait a minute, did I miscount? I can't- It also doesn't help, I can't remember how many people there are. I'm like, the characters are all mer merging into one. How many women are that there's- Chiaki, Sonia, Akane. Who am I missing? Chiaki, Sonia, Akane. You know, I wouldn't normally do this, but that's that's actually gotten to me. Who am I forgetting? I'm not forgetting anyone. So is it the? Wait, wait a minute. Would then we have Hajime, Nagito, Gundam, Kazuichi, Nikamaru, Fuhiko. Yeah, someone will have to spend their time with the girls, right? And I got- I- It's so hot in the back room right now. It is so damn hot. I swear to god, I'm- I've, I'm confused. Is it that Nagito is going to go with the girls, or... I'm... F fuck it, I'm confused. Fuck it, just leave, just go. I'm sure it'll get explained. It's decided you two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, I will be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. So I get a crubby room. Huh. Well, it's better than rooming with someone. Hmm. <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch cold. There are rooms in, in the girls' side. Why can't he stay there? Hmm. Hey. Hey, how about you Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonya and I have the deluxe room, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's not like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. Um... So there is a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Fucking thank you. The women have sense. Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! You can't do that. Yes, he can. Y'all wanted to fight over rooms. Oh, my. Why not? Well... I, I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know. J just as you might be. Just as Sonya might be. Just as Gundam might be. Just as Nikamaru might Anyone could be the traitor. Um... What are you saying? Fucking yes, Sonia, get him. Get the bitch. Miss Sonia? What, what am I... Uh, huh? Huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Like... Even I don't think he'd try to trick us. <laughs> it seems that you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Hey! Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that! You're really gonna say that! Right? Hajime, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh! No then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, oh, man. It, like, it doesn't make any sense. That's what you get for being a simp. That's what you get for being a simp ass bitch. Sonia kicking your ass. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of Strawberry House. And all the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Hmm. Jeez, uh... just as I thought. I was forgotten. <laughs> well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> okay. Go. 
That was weird. I... <laughs> I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. And you know what? This feels like a really good place to end the episode. In the next one, Hajime will turn in for the night. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.